145th year in a row, the Our Lady of Mount Carmel Festival is happening right here in Hamilton. And joined with me is Pastor David. Pastor, thank you so much for being here today. We appreciate it. Thank you for coming out, John. So, let's just get it off the uh, elephant in the room. We have a coronavirus pandemic, but we're still going on with the procession, which is going to be Thursday. Correct. We're still going on with the festival. What was the thought process into all this, and how are we making sure that everybody's going to be safe? Yeah, so um, when this all began, we weren't sure that it would affect us in July. Uh, but once we started getting to the end of April, our, our minds started to turn to this month. And conversations began to happen of what we were going to do. I was in communication with the Mount Carmel Society that is actually in charge of the procession itself. And we were all just debating what this is going to look like. It was really hard to plan. And to be honest with you, before all this happened, we had a very sophisticated plan for this year. And that kind of all got scrapped. And then almost at the last minute, we decided, you know what, let's go for it. Yeah. Let's have the feast, let's have the fun. The procession was never in question. Right. It was just what it was going to look like. Mm -hmm. And it was really up to the governor, in many ways, yeah. uh, what he was going to permit, not permit. And since we're allowed to have groups outside of a certain number, especially for religious activities, uh, that made it possible to at least have the procession and to have some food and all that. Sadly, we couldn't have a carnival because of the limits on rides and things like that. And that's the Mount Carmel Society's uh, purview. And so they just wasn't, it wasn't able to happen. Uh, but the more important thing is the spiritual aspect, which happens in church anyway. So we're in church. So um, you've been in the church. You saw I have uh, pews roped off. Yeah. I have directions and all that. For outside, we have to do the same thing. I'm spraying you know, dots on the ground six feet apart, yep. uh, creating a flow of direction with barriers. People wearing masks, got our official St. Mary Mount yes. Carmel Parish mask, He's got right? The flag over here. Yes, right. Yeah. So, um, you know, the directions, we got uh, special chemicals on each uh, table to sanitize after we use, got hand sanitizer, all the things that's required of us. And when we're looking at the weather, I'll tell you what, if you like today's weather, you're going to like tomorrow. I think we're in for a repeat of Oh, wow. Thank you, God, right? Yeah, so thank so you, God. We're, last week, you know, we were like, if it's going to be this hot all week from last week, okay, yeah. we're in trouble. So I said, Lord, let it be hot this week. It's going to be cold next week. Well, okay, so sounds like I, somebody did their job. I think so. Yeah, You're awesome. praying real hard. Great. Yeah. Well, Pastor, thank you so much for the time. Thank we you appreciate very much. it. We're looking forward Come to the weekend. Come on out. Ahead. Everybody's welcome. God bless. All right, let's talk about our weather for this evening. It is going to be very comfortable out there. We have temperatures that are sliding through to 70s. And then as we go into the overnight hours, pretty similar to the past couple of nights, good enough to leave the windows open. Temperatures are going to be in the upper 60s on the mainland, like right here in Hamilton. Over at the shore will be in the low 70s. Now, as we go into Thursday, again, the same thing. We have this onshore flow that will continue across the area that will continue to bring cooler temperatures. We'll be below average tomorrow, but below average like today, pretty comfortable. We'll be in the low 80s on the mainland. As you get over towards Hamilton, could be in the mid 80s, but overall, on the lower side for our temperatures, for sure, we'll be in the upper 70s. Your beach report is looking very good for tomorrow as well. No big complaints here. And then for 4 o'clock, which is the procession here in the Our Lady of Mount Carmel Festival, the feast day. We will have temperatures in the upper 70s and a partly cloudy sky looking really good. But then as we go into the weekend, the heat and the humidity build will be in the 80s Friday and Saturday. And we'll have the heat index feeling like the mid 90s with dew points that will be in the low 70s. We'll look for scattered thunderstorms just after 3 to 5 p.m. on our Friday that will continue into the night. Then Saturday morning will be dry. A couple of afternoon thunderstorms for Saturday. No washouts either day. Sunday will be the sizzler here, mid 90s on the mainland, feeling like 100 to 105 degrees. For the latest in South Jersey weather, you can follow me on social media or you can go to our website, expressmacy.com slash weather. We'll be here tomorrow as well, and I'm going to finish eating this sandwich. Thank you, everybody.